Hi everybody, Brett Shadow here from Pride Advice in Adelaide, and I'm joined today by Tracy Bone, one of our senior advisors in the Adelaide office. And Tracy, we were having a conversation mm -hmm. earlier today uh, about an appointment that you had last week, yes. and it was it was quite a sad story. Absolutely, Brett. I uh, had some clients reach out to me, um, completely devastated. Their uh, much loved daughter has had a really serious accident, mm -hmm. and as a result of that, um, now has a brain injury and uh, they were ringing to see what it is can they do mm. to try and manage her affairs. Uh, we spoke some time ago about making sure that the whole family had their estate planning needs in order and uh, they were of the belief that the will was enough mm. and they felt that the executor could go on and now manage the financial affairs. So, so I suppose the, the, the issue is, is that the will only comes into force if someone passes. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So, so in this case, it was an unforeseen absolutely. illness? Absolutely, unforeseen, just a pure accident, yeah. And absolutely. so the daughter is in hospital and mm -hmm. the parents are financially pretty helpless? Absolutely. There's uh, bills to pay, mortgages to pay, um, there's, there's children involved. It, it, it's a pretty sad situation. So what have the parents had to do in this situation? they now need to make an application mm -hmm. with the South Australian Civil and, and Administrative Tribunal and get either an administration or a guardianship order so that uh, this, this board can actually make these decisions mm -hmm. for them. So the power is completely removed from the family. So how would they have avoided this scenario? Bottom line, um, you know, when they did the will, sit and do your power of attorney and advanced care directives at the same time and appoint all of the right people. Um, something I've also recently learned is your advanced health care directives you can actually also upload to your MyGov account. Wow. And uh, your advanced care directive is where you have made uh, some choices around how you would like to be cared for in a palliative state or in you know, a, a life-threatening situation. So the key takeout for me, based on that conversation that we yes. had, was that you know, estate planning is, is it's one thing to look after yourselves and, mm. and, your, and your, your, your partner, but you know, think about it beyond yourselves. Absolutely. And your children, Absolutely. Uh, your adult children, and you know, especially if, they're, if they don't have their own partners, Absolutely. because you're the one that's going to be left dealing all the, the fallout if yeah. you're not uh, the power of attorney or Absolutely. if they don't have one. Absolutely. Um, I've also had a further client, couple of clients, Brett, um, that were refusing to, to actually get these um, things in order for mm. their own various reasons. And, you know, just sharing some of these stories has made them get a move on and uh, reach out and, and start putting some things in place. Um, for me, estate planning, um, is something that allows you to make the choice and you need to obviously be of sound mind to, to make those choices. And it's about making sure your assets and your family are looked after when you choose. Yep. Not someone else telling you, not a board, not, not an order telling you how you manage your affairs. It, it is interesting as, as a planner, people think that financial planning is all about superannuation. No, no. And as long as you've got a will, and as long as you've got to binding debt nominations on your superannuation yeah, fund, you, you're good. You've ticked all the boxes, but no, it's far broader than that. Yeah. Uh, and, and certainly a solicitor is who we would call on to put some of these things in place. But a lot of people just don't sit and consider the broader yeah. scenarios. Um, and, and it's even like, you know, the whole beneficiary under your super. A lot of people, we sit and talk to them and they've got adult children on there. Well, that beneficiary to an adult child is, is actually a taxable um, amount of money that, that will be taxed by the government. And there's things that we can do to try and Absolutely. reduce that, that amount. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it, is, it is fascinating. It's a fascinating topic and it's, it's something that good financial planning is all about. Mm -hmm. and, and although you might think you've got things uh, covered, um, having a conversation with a planner is a really good starting point just to make sure that you really truly do have things covered. Absolutely. Tracy, thanks for your time. Thank you, Brett. Let's go back to work and no um, speak to you again soon. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. Bye.